Master the art of town hall 15 attacks with these top 3 strategies. We're gonna begin with Zap Electro Titans. And this one is pretty strong. First, we're gonna begin with zapping out one of the compartments, preferably an important one. Then we're gonna warden walk one compartment, send the king to the other, and send the Electro Titans from the middle and get the base. Seems basic, so we're gonna begin with warden walk. We don't have much time, so we're gonna do the things fast. Start with the earthquake spell. That way, the builder will be busy with his hut. Then we're gonna zap out the expo, the scatter shot, and the RC. A total of 7 lightning spells. And if you can get one hero with your first setup, then that is absolutely cool. Over here, we're gonna get the king with one headhunter. That will be helpful. And make the funnel here with the baby dragon and balloons. I'll send the king in so giant and ice column can go first. And wizards over here. They should all go in and our king should go to this compartment. He will take out the scatter shot and the expo. And we're gonna pop his ability. I don't want him to go towards the left side. And with that, he should go back to the compartment and take it out. Warden Monk is going fine. We don't need a spell there. He will take out that inferno. So funnel has formed pretty nicely. We can start the main thing now. Queen, Ice Golem and Electro Dryness from this side along with the balloons. I've got one jump spell. I'll use that to connect these compartments. And I'm ready with poison spell. The CC is out. So we're gonna heal the group first. And RC from the left side along with the battle rail. I'm not using the warden ability just yet. I'm saving that to pop it around the town hall. The RC is getting targeted over here. We might lose her ability pretty soon, but that should be fine. She will push through for now. We are in contact with the town hall. I'll be popping the warden ability. And RC ability also goes off. Warden ability is necessary around the town halls. It does a lot of damage, especially to your healers and the electro titans as well. We don't have any spells left, but that shouldn't be a problem. We have got enough to carry forward. RC is getting wrecked over here. She is being targeted, but Diggy is the one who is going to save her. At least momentarily, she will still go ahead and pick up some defenses like that cannon and battle drill along with her is a good combination. That wizard over there has done some good cleanup. The RC will finally fall now as she charges ahead on her own. But the queen is still there, she will pick up the diggy and battle drill will also get stuns. Now the only thing left is the cleanup. Queen is there inside the rage vial of the warden so she should be fast and will get this base down. The electro titans will stay behind, watch as the cleanup happen but that's that, no problem. For the second one, we have got none other than Root Riders and Valkyries. This strategy works against practically most of the bases, but if you find your opponent like this, a diamond ship base or a box style base, then what you gotta do is make the funnel on two sides with Valkyries and Root Rider, and then charge the rest of the troops from the middle and get the whole base down. It is easy and it's really strong. We're gonna begin with Root Riders and Valkyries over here. They will make a good funnel, so we can begin the rest of the charge. All of them from this side, including the ice columns, the log launcher and even the heroes. All of them except the royal champion for now. I've got headhunters, I'll deploy all of them on the enemy king and he will fall down pretty soon. Log launcher will make a straight path up to the town hall and we'll just have to wait for now. The CC is coming, so we're going to poison it and also pop our warden ability. The right flank was not covered under the warden ability, so we're going to invest a freeze there. The king will survive for now and start to deploy spells on our troops now. Raise those root riders, they will lead the charge, plus freeze again. And on the left side, we will heal the troops and deploy our RC. We still have got a lot of spells to deploy. We're gonna start with freezing the town hall. We'll freeze it again if required. The monolith is going to set on the king, but we have the phoenix on him so he will come back to life. Lesson was more rage spells. Reach the root riders and the RC. She will go ahead, take out the expo. Our queen is lagging behind and we have got healer puppets on her. I really like to swag that and say that yes, this strategy is really strong. If we ever wanted more healers, we could have always popped it. But for now, we're gonna reach this place, help the troops get out of the town for poison quickly. We'll need to freeze that scatter shot. The ground skellies will stall her for now, but the diggy will go ahead, stun the scatter shot, and they will take it down. The RC will fall pretty soon. She is under a lot of fire, so the diggy will be picked up by the warden. He's still targeting the defense, so the diggy will be helpful. Take stuns here and there. We still have got a lot of time remaining. And the queen is doing cleanup on the outside. She will go ahead and finish everything. We don't have a lot of threatening defenses remaining. It's just the cleanup as the final step. All the defenses will go down with the last cannon. And the troops will split into two groups. The queen will go from the top side. The Aragorn is lagging behind. And the warden along with the root riders will go from the bottom side. All in all, they will take the base down. If I wanted, then could have popped the queen ability. That way, we could have had healers. And things would have been much faster. 
But swagging the queen ability feels really nice. Nice. For the final one, we have got Super Bowlers. Pretty amazing strategy. We're gonna begin with Warden walking one side, make a funnel here. On the other side, we're gonna use balloons and baby dragon. They should be enough to make a simple funnel. Then we're gonna deploy the Super Bowlers from this side and make them wrap around like this. This way, we're gonna get the whole base down since we have got the log launcher along with them. Later down the line, we're gonna use the RC from this side and we're gonna swag the queen ability again. So let's begin with the warden and healers. They will do their thing here and he should be fine. Over here, we're gonna deploy the baby dragon and balloons for the funnel. They will take a short while, they should do a good job. We're gonna wait for a bit now. We've got some time before deploying the super bowlers. The warden will stay there, stay away from the damage and I think he's going away too far. So I'll have to start deploying the super bowlers. They look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I have no complaints about that. We're gonna deploy the king from this side and more supporting troops. I want all of them to go in so we will use the log launcher and the queen from this side. More Coco Loons and Headhunters. We have basically spammed everything and now we'll wait. The eagle strikes are coming but this is just the first strike and we are pretty close to the eagle. So we'll save the warden ability for now. We have a jump spell just in case but here our warden ability was auto triggered. I was actually saving that to pop it around the town hall since we have got two ice golems up in front but it is what it is. Poison the enemy CC and I think we can deploy the RC from right side. We're gonna pop the king ability here and use the jump spell over there also freeze. King will go under phoenix pretty soon. We're gonna freeze the enemy queen then that way she will not distract our king and he will go towards the town hall. The king will go on the phoenix now, it's pretty much dead, but so is the town hall. For now, I'll freeze the scatter shot and the enemy queen will also fall. We have got rage spells, I don't think we need them, but we gotta use them anyways, because why not? I could have brought heal spells instead of them, or more freeze spells, but either way, we are going to get it, and we have swang the queen ability one more time. But just for the sake of it, I think we'll pop it, and finish this final gold mine. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? Those were strong downhill 15 attack strategies. Now I'll be bringing more and I'll link it right here. And before we end this one, I would like to thank Skipper, Cornbread, Yukiflex for sending me the friend request. And if you would like to do the same, then this is my player ready. See you in that video then. Bye.